In Chinese, every word that you pronounce has a specific meaning depending on how you pronounce it with the correct tone. If your tone does not correspond to the words that you are trying to say, then the person whom you are conversing with will not understand what you mean. I am your teacher Bernice, who will teach you today. Please like, subscribe, and share this page, My Teacher Bernice, and the YouTube channel, Bernice Alvarez Dacusan. Our lesson for today is about the tone marks of Chinese words, or it is a Mandarin. This is very important so that the person whom you are conversing with understands the meaning of the words that you are trying to convey. In Chinese, it is very important to pronounce characters and words with the correct tone. So, these are the tone marks. There are four main tones and a neutral tone in Mandarin. The first tone is called the flat tone. And you read this as ah. Okay, so that is flat tone. Ah. You can see the tone marks uh, on top of the letter A. So you can read this as Ah, okay, next tone is the rising tone, and you read this as like this, ah, meaning uh, the tone is rising, ah, okay, again, ah, the third tone is called the falling, rising tone. So, you need to read it falling, rising. This is at a time. Okay? Like uh, this one. Ah. Okay, did you get it? Again. Ah. Again. Ah. Okay, so that is called the falling, rising tone. Next is the falling tone. Falling. And, okay, let's read it. Ah. Okay. Ah. So you can read, the, you can read it as that. Ah. And then, the next one is neutral. So, meaning, it has no tone. There is no tone marks above the or on top of this letter A. Do you get it? Okay, again, let's uh, read this. This letter A, the flat tone, you can read this as ah. Uh, next, rising tone, ah. Uh, next, falling rising tone. Ah, uh, falling tone, ah, uh, and no tone, ah, uh. okay, ah, 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 okay, so those are the main tones and the neutral tone in Mandarin. Okay, so we read it already with tones, the four tones plus the neutral tone. And now, I want to give you the examples of that four tones and the neutral tone. And let's pick up the words ma. Okay, so all of that ma, it has a different meaning but they have the same uh, words that is ma but uh, be because of the different tone that's why they have the different meaning okay so the same words are in pinyin 
but they have different meanings. Depends how you pronounce them. Okay, this one. What kind of tone is that? Yes, it's a flat tone. So, will you please read this? Ma. Okay, if you read this as that, or if you if you pronounce that as ma, meaning that is mother or mama. Okay, so uh, this one is a uh, character or a Chinese character. This is um, um, simplified, Chinese simplified. Okay, the next one is, yes, a rising tone. So again, the word ma, but the tone is rising. So we can read this as ma, okay, again. Ma, okay, this is the uh, simplified Chinese character of Ma. So, the meaning of this is general name for hemp or uh, this is a plant and also this is um, also uh, referring to for the textile materials, okay? So, we read this as Ma. Okay, next. The third tone is, yes, the falling, rising tone. So, again, the word ma, but since this is a falling, rising tone, we read this as ma, okay, ma, okay, so that is meaning the horse. Okay, if you read this or if your tone is rising or I mean falling rising, ma, that is you are referring to a horse. Okay, then the next one is the falling, ma. Okay, this ma means to abuse verbally or to curse you like that. So, that is the word ma. So, do not interchange this um, tone because if you entertain, interchange this, so the meaning of that is already uh, already changed. Okay, for example, you are referring to your mama. You want to call your mama or your mother. So, do not say ma, okay, because you are referring to a horse. So, you just say it ma means that is mother or you want to call your mother ma okay do not say as ma because you are not calling your mother instead you are calling the horse okay so did you get my point so again read this let's read ma okay again ma next Ma, again, ma, okay, the third is ma, again, ma, and the fourth one is ma, ma, okay, to abuse verbally or to curse somebody. Okay, and another one, the new tone is ma, ma, that is, uh, Always uh, at the end of at the end of the question. For example, ni halama, oh, meaning are you finished? Ni halama, like that. So ma, uh, the neutral tone is uh, can be used or it is always used at the end of the question. Okay. Tone markings are written over the central vowels in most syllables. So, you see, I hope that you notice it, that the, the markings of the tone or the, mark, the tone marks is over the central vowels in most syllables. A neutral tone has no tone mark above any vowel.
Okay, guys, that's all. And I hope that you learned something from our lesson. See you at our next video lesson. So, the next lesson is about the initials. Bye for now. I am your teacher, Bernice. God bless us all.